Hey guys, this is uh, an update on my rig here, what I've been doing for the last month and a half, maybe two months. It's been cloudy, a uh, lot of rain, uh, when it does clear up you get a full moon, it's been terrible. Uh, looks like 2020 has fallen into 2021, nothing's going right. But uh, this is what the scope looks like right now, I've taken a lot of the cables and actually cut them to length. Especially the power cables. Uh, that's why I have them. I got like a little service loop right here. Uh, right here, I've got a little clip here to keep my cables coming down to the mount pretty much out of the way when I uh, slew the telescope to different objects. Uh, the only thing that hits the ground is the power cable itself, and that's with the jackery. Uh, I love this little thing, it's 240 watts, and it will run. Oh, close to eight hours, and I'm talking about everything the camera, the focuser, uh, the mount, and uh, what else does this sucker control? That's about it right now, as far as I know. But uh, yeah, that uh, I love this thing. Uh, the only drawback it takes forever to recharge. Uh, if I get, bring it down to uh, like about 80 percent, uh, it'll charge really quick. But man, when you get down to about 20%, man, it'll take most of the day for this thing to recharge. But, uh, oh well, right? But, uh, right now, this is what the scope looks like. Uh, basically cleaned it up a lot. Uh, got cables all drawn all over the place. Uh, you got the finder scope, the guide scope, the guide camera. And let's see, what other cameras do I have right here for, uh, polar alignment uh, I love this thing it, it, it's bang on right on so uh, yeah I love that and uh, let's see of course the main camera I have no issues whatsoever uh, it's an older one uh, it costs a lot of money it was like 1400 bucks for this for this bad boy and uh, in front of that I have a, a filter drawer and uh, pull it out and that's my filters. That's a uh, an Optalon uh, filter. And, uh, has a magnetic. Sometimes it's hard to pull out, but it stays. It doesn't come out. And this is my new add-on. It's an autofocuser from Prima Lucci. Uh, I like this one a lot because the way it mounts, it doesn't use a bracket that uh, attaches to the focuser underneath, like right here. You just take the knob off uh, this guy here and it mounts to the housing of the focuser, which is super clean. Uh, there's no brackets. Uh, having a bracket on there eventually, uh, during uh, temperature changes and swings, it can get loose over time. This is solid, so this is not going anywhere. Uh, nice thing about this, it's Wi-Fi as well. So if I lose connection to the computer, I can take the cell phone out and uh, control it from there. Uh, next thing I got was a computer. And this is a B-Link. And I got this on uh, Amazon. I think I paid uh, $249 for this. Uh, has Windows 10 Home. Uh, has four USB 3 ports. Uh, the processor uh, is 1.9 and it goes to 2.2 boost which uh, 1.9 is fine for what this thing is going to do uh, has 30 or uh, uh, let me think here 4 gigs of memory which is again that's all I need uh, 256 gigabytes of storage and it has a place for another 256 on those mini USB, I think that's what they're called. But uh, there's two more ports right there. And uh, yeah, it only uses 12 volts, so I have it hooked up to uh, my power box back here, which is this top one. And uh, yeah, this has uh, been working out really, really well. Uh, has some issues with, uh, with the mount. Uh, first one was uh, the circuit board 
behind this cover um, for whatever reason after about six months of use uh, when I plugged in my handset I had no power and I couldn't understand why I uh, called or didn't call but uh, emailed Skywatcher to see how much a new uh, circuit board costs because you can't find a schematic on this and uh, they said $200 plus shipping so I said okay and I thought well fuck I'm really good in electronics, so I took this sucker apart. And the uh, cool thing about it, it, from the power lead, there's a direct uh, connection from here to pin 8 on uh, the handset. But it goes through a fuse first. Well, I was reading good all the way past the fuse. So the fuse is okay. And when I hit the pin, uh, I wasn't reading anything. So I started moving the pin around, and sure as shit, I was getting connections off and on. So I just took my soldering iron out and reflowed the solder, and this thing's been working great ever since. So saved myself 200 bucks. Uh, the next thing I wasn't happy with with the mount was uh, it had too much slop in right ascension. Uh, the gear and uh, the worm were too far apart, and that should have been caught uh, during production in quality. But uh, it's no big deal. I wish they had caught it, but they didn't. So what I'd have to do was take these two screws, just loosen them, and there's two more down here. Loosen those, and I have a grub screw here, which is a three millimeter, and I got another one underneath. But all I had to do was tighten this down and uh, lock these guys down, and then uh, actually... Uh, rotate them out to make sure the gears didn't bind and uh, I got that uh, worked out and uh, it's fine <coughs> next thing I'm not really thrilled about is um, these handles uh, why they cut them into angles is beyond me they're a pain in the ass to use and sometimes you need two hands just to tighten down why they could not make that round is beyond me so I might uh, fill the, the gaps with uh, some kind of epoxy and make it round, sand it, and repaint it. Make life a little easier. In fact, it's going to look similar to this. That's what should be down here. Uh, my next issue with the mount. And uh, you can see it's still not quite where I want it. But if you take a look, when you mount your... Uh, telescope you notice how high this end and how low this end is so basically it's cocked like that <laughs> if I can make it there we go and uh, you spend all this time uh, leveling the tripod and the mount and polar align and you find out that your your scope itself is kind of on an axis now a lot of people say it doesn't matter since you're polar aligned uh, with the telescope and I'm thinking no 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 uh, because this here and here uh, represents almost uh, a, a full degree and uh, over time when I start taking anything over a 10 minute exposure I get drifting and I get it bad so I put shims under here and uh, that helped out a lot I can go uh, over 20 minutes on an exposure and I it's kind of useless to do that, uh, especially with this type of camera I have. But I was just curious on how uh, things would uh, track, how the mount would track. And uh, it tracked it pretty good. And uh, so I'm just wondering if anybody has this kind of mount. And uh, does yours look the same as mine? That One end is lower than the other, so the whole OTA is, is cocked, you know downward uh, as far as I'm concerned that's unacceptable I've owned many telescopes and uh, the saddle which I usually call a dead flat so you don't have to mess around shimming anything but uh, yeah if you own one of these and it's an EQ6R Pro from Skywatcher uh, let me know if you have the same problem uh, that should not be there that should be level and uh, so we'll, we'll see but uh, that's what I've been doing on these cloudy days. 
in weeks and months. Uh, I think I've had it out only once, and uh, and it was only for uh, about two hours. Then the clouds came in again, so uh, put all this money into it, and I can't use it because right now what you see here is close to seven grand, and uh, I like to use it, you know, every now and then, not once every three months, but uh, that's the hobby I chose. And uh, have a new laptop. Uh, nice thing about this, uh, it came with the keyboard, so that that's pretty nice. And I paid uh, just under three hundred for this, and uh, I'm happy with it. So uh, that's all I got. Uh, I'll go ahead and shut this down because I was testing, and uh, everything's still working. Knowing full well that I probably won't be able to use it for another couple of uh, weeks. But uh, I'll let y'all go. Thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll have some pictures uh, in the near future here. So with that, take care.